No good, pas bon air, c'est no good. Antonio, oui. for your surprise showcase, please teach us untranslatable Spanish words and phrases. Okay. Desvelado uh, has a lot to do with my actual state of mind because I am so jet lagged that I cannot sleep. So desvelado is somebody who can't sleep. Estás desvelado. Second word, pardo. Pardo is a, is a color actually, pardo, I think. Yeah, it's between, yeah, gray and brown. Stay there, pardo. Uh, dar un toque. Dar un toque, just to give a touch. It just, the, the, the translation is to just touch something. Dar un toque is, uh, Finalize something. The last touch, the last toque, dar un toque means something like that. Something like that. You can say dar un toque de atención. Just dar un toque de atención could be also just to call the attention of somebody for something very specific. Hey, don't do that. Dar un toque. Again, uh, another word that has to do very much with my actual state of uh, jet lagging, trasnochar. Trasnochar is when you uh, um, use a lot of the night, basically. You just don't go to bed very early. Estás trasnochando. Trasnochando is use the whole entire night. Trasnochar. So, yeah, I know. I know about trasnochar. Every time, less and less. I used to trasnochar a lot when I was very young but I don't trust not show ahora. Em, em, emmadrarse. Emmadrarse. Emmadrarse is just to be very close to your mother. It's no good. It's good probably when you are four or five years old, but it's not good if you are 40. It's bad if you are 40 and you are emmadrado. Not good. Okay. Friolento. I know friolero. Friolento sounds like the same Expression in South America, friolento. Friolero, you're a person that suffers very much when, with cold weather. In cold weather, you are friolero, no? You're not so muy friolero. Yeah, I can bear cold weather. I can bear anything. I can bear cold weather, hot weather, anything. Let me see, madrugar. Again, <laughs> back to the jet lag. Madrugar is just to wake up very early, very early in the morning. Yeah, I do that a lot. In the past, I, I didn't do it, but now I do. Okay, madrugar, that's an easy one. Resol. Resol, I think, is when uh, the, it's, it's sunny, but it's not totally sunny. It's kind of a hazy, something like that. Yeah, resol. So far, so good. I am, I am translating every word in here. Sobremesa. Sobremesa is what happened at a table after lunch. The people just talk and then coffees are served and um, the people are having just fun talking in La Sobremesa. Yeah, this is very common in my country, in Spain, just to, to have that moment, you know, after everybody's lunch, everybody's satisfied, and you know, just to just exchange, you know, uh, different. Uh, enchilar. Enchilar. This is more South America. Enchilar is when you eat chile very much, a lot of chile, so you have a physical reaction to that. And it's a physical reaction. You sweat and you're hot and uh, and uh, and you want to basically die. Duende. Duende uh, can be translated into different ways. A duende is one of those magical beings that you can find in the woods. But in my hometown, in Andalusia, in the south of Spain, duende is to to be graceful. You know, to be to have grace. Um, as an artist, basically, and especially as a flamenco artist. If you have duende, you're fine. If you don't have duende, you're not fine. Entrecejo. This is entrecejo, between the two cejas. If you have somebody on your entrecejo, is that you are going for somebody that you want just to... Mm, mm, mm. 
Because you have it here. It's in your, it's in your target. Tokayo. Tokayo is somebody that has the same name than you. Tokayo is somebody that is called Antonio, like me. Yeah. Tokayo. Pavonearse is something that you shouldn't do. Pavonearse is when you are um, very full of yourself. And you go pavonearse in front of other people is just to show off in front of other people in a non nice way. You know, there's a lot of people here in Hollywood that they, uh, they, pav they pavonean. Mm -hmm. No good, pavonearse, no good. Anteyer. Anteyer is the day before yesterday. This is very simple. Anteyer. Oh, we have. The last one, Manco. Manco is a person that uh, miss one arm. Very easy to. And that's it. I don't have more cars. I could be translating here forever in this beautiful environment. I don't know my favorite phrase, but I can tell you my favorite word. I like the word alegría. Alegría means joy. And it's a very uh, special word, how it sounds in Spanish, alegría. I like it. That's my favorite word. 